Sara Sharif was a 10-year-old girl was found dead in her family home, her father's home in fact, in Horsell near Woking on August 10th earlier this month after a call was made very early in the morning around 2.50am from the Pakistani capital Islamabad. Now what police later discovered is that Sarah's father, uh, Irfan Sharif, had fled the country in the hours leading up to making that phone call and had actually booked tickets worth more than £5,000 for himself, uh, his, his brother and his new partner uh, and their children as well, five children in total, actually a couple of days before making that call. Imran Malik Sharif, who is, lives in Pakistan, is currently being held in Pakistan by police, has claimed that Sara died after she fell down the stairs and broke her neck, or at least that was what he was told by Irfan. Uh, he says that Irfan's partner, Beenish Batul, who's also being hunted by the police in Pakistan and in this country, was at home at the time and made a panicked phone call to her new partner, to Irfan, to say that uh, Sara had tragically died at home, and that's when they decided they would need to leave the country. Uh, however, Olga Sharif, who is uh, Sarah's mum, has rubbished those claims and said that they are lies uh, and cast a lot of doubt on exactly how those claims were made and whether Imran is simply covering for his brother by telling that to the Pakistani police. So in Pakistan right now, we know that Pakistan's federal investigative authorities are looking at an intensive manhunt nationwide to try and find uh, Irfan, to try and find Beenish, to try and find uh, their brother as well. But the problem is, is that the British High Commission now is putting quite a lot of pressure on Pakistani authorities to track them down. We know that they threatened to send their own investigators if the probe is not wrapped up quickly and they're not returned to questioning. And Olga has actually urged Irfan now to do the right thing and turn himself in for the good of her, for the good of their children, but also for the good of justice.